good morning students welcome back to c programming practical in the last video i sent a uh, few practicals now i will send uh, i will now i'll show you the execution of the remaining practicals today i'm going to explain you about uh, enum keyword gcd of two numbers and um, pyramid triangle of stars that will complete today okay and with this our total practical work is over first uh, i'll explain a uh, 12th program write a program to illustrate use of data type enum so actually what is the enum keyword using a enum keyword uh, we can create our own data type means like integer this theory part already we completed in offline classes uh, example if it is a int integer integer means uh, if you are giving a data type as a int for any variable no so what is the maximum range of that variable that is uh, you can give a values between uh, 0 to 32767 that is a range right in the same way when you are creating uh, your own data type you need to give the data type name and what are the possible values a variable can take with that data type that information you should give okay so the type of programs already have executed and i will show you uh, how to execute what is the output and um, what is the purpose of each and every line in the program i will explain now see here first i am explaining a enum keyword see so this is our uh, program enum keyword the first line is a preprocessor command header file here uh, in this program i am using uh, some functions from this header file so that is why in the first line i am including ash include stdio.h standard input and output header file so whatever functions we need uh, to print something on the screen and uh, whatever functions we need to collect input from a user all the functions you will get from this stdio.h so that is why at the first uh, in the first line i am including this header file so it is an header file so that is why it should have a file extension .h and it is a preprocessor means before starting a programming execution whatever files are there in the header file that should be loaded into our program okay now next uh, you see as i already said uh, using enum keyword we can create our own data type see here weak enum is a keyword using this we can create our own data type and uh, here weak is a name of the data type and this data type can uh, create uh, it can accept these values so whatever values you want to assign to the data type that should be uh, enclosed between uh, opening and closing braces so enum is a keyword using this we can create our own data type and what is data type name here weak and uh, what values uh, it it will accept this seven values it will accept okay now come to the main function what is the use of the main function a program execution start from the main function only now see here i have given the comment you can see creating a today is a variable see today is a variable and it is a variable of uh, which type weak type for weak type uh, what values you can give <coughs> this seven values you can give okay so here weak today is a variable and uh, this variable is a type of weak see example if i give like this int a a is a type a is a type of a is a type of integer right in the same way here i am creating today as a variable and it is a type of weak understood so we have a built in data types at the same time we can create our own data type according to our requirement so here today is a uh, variable of which type weak type so if you are declaring any variable which is a type of weak how many vol uh, values you can pass you can assign any one of this seven values you can assign or we can say that this uh, these are the ranges okay now in a weak this is a creation this is nothing but a declaring we can say it is a declaring variable of variable of weak weak type and weak is a user defined data type now today equals to wednesday so whatever values you are assigning to this variable that value should be of any one of this 
here we have a 7 mm -hmm. from that 7 you can assign any one value to this clear printer today plus 1 ok because here the value start from a 0 I am giving today plus 1 now say so already I saved it file save as already what I have given enum dot c I have given it should be c source file c source file save go to execute compile you can see at the bottom no errors here see zero errors now we'll execute this run day four wednesday is a day four you can see one two three four wednesday is the fourth day right so that index number will be displayed so this is about enum keyword now we will write one more uh, we'll execute one more program that is write a program to demonstrate to find the GCD of two numbers using iteration and recursion write a program to find the GCD means the greatest common uh, divisor of two numbers using a iteration now I will open that program GCD of two numbers <coughs> GCD of two numbers See for GCD also here yeah, they have given uh, two conditions one is by using iteration and the second one by using a recursion. Iteration means using a loops and a recursion you can use a function. Okay. Now here you see uh, program to GCD of two numbers. It is a GCD. GCD of two numbers. See so this is a live, uh, header file, this is a main function. See in the program they have given two number. you need to find the GCD of two numbers. So that is why here I am taking two numbers and uh, GCD. You need to store the GCD now. So that is why here I am declaring a GCD. Now it is a iteration, it is a loop, the number should increment. So that is why I am using a one counter variable here. Now please enter two integer values. See in the program they have given you need to find a GCD of two integers. So here I am giving a prompt to the user to enter the two values to which number you want to find out the GCD. So here this is a first number, this is a second number. Now for the i equals to 1, i less than or equals to number 1 and i less than or equals to number 2. See uh, you need to find the GCD right. GCD of two numbers. So whatever number to whichever number you are dividing, no, that should be always less than number one comma number two. Now i plus plus. If number one percentile i equals to zero and number two percentile i equals to zero, means if the remainder is zero, then GCD equals to the number. Okay, that you need to find. See, just here what we are doing is whatever uh, in order to increment the uh, denominator. Here what we are doing, we are using this uh, loop we are using. So first, this first number we are dividing with 1 and we are storing the reminder. And second number also we are dividing with 1 and storing the reminder. And if it is 0, we are giving GCD equals to uh, that number. Again I am incrementing the loop. Okay, so this process is continuous when I value is reaches to uh, means when i value equals when i value is greater than the number one now so this is our program go to execute compile no errors at the bottom you can see now execute run so you s can see the prompt please enter two integers I am giving 24 uh, num1 equals to 24 and num2 equals to 36 so GCD of two numbers is 16 sorry 12 understood so this is a GCD using a loop iteration now one more program uh, I will execute that is GCD using a recursion see here same here I am using a for recursion means function calling itself number of times 
so in order to call a function number of times here i am using a gcd one user defined function i am using if it's a user defined function in a prototype you should give prototype declaration you should give so in prototype declaration if you are creating your own function you need to give the name of the function and how many param how many arguments you are taking from a user that and it should end with the semicolon as I already said in c programming every statement every declaration should end with the semicolon now main function your program execution start from the main function you need to find the gcd of two numbers so here i am declaring two numbers num1 comma num2 now next i am giving a prompt to the user to enter two numbers for which number you want to find out the gcd okay so first one is uh, whatever values the user gave that uh, first value stored in a num1 comma and second value stored in num2 now i am giving a prompt to the user to enter two values that is two integers num1 comma num2 next gcd of this and this is uh, next you see print print of gcd of percentile d is nothing but the for first number and percentile d for the second number so here i have given parameters next i am calling gcd with num1 comma num2 it is nothing but the function calling in the print of statement uh, only i am call uh, i am calling the function so this function will be executed now where is this function come to gcd yeah this is a user defined function 1 2 two parameters see we need to find the gcd of two numbers no long x comma long y now if y equals to 0 return x else means if y equals to 0 directly you can give x written x else written gcd y comma x percentile y okay so here we need to give y comma x percentile y this is by using a recursion so now execute compile execute run enter two values 24 36 gcd of 24 and 36 is 12 okay so this is a function using a recursion understood now here we have a one more program that is program number 5 you need to create pyramid of stars asterisk okay now we'll, i will open the program pyramid see so this is our program now we are will find out the pyramid means so you need to create a star slide uh, i will show you the output first this is called as a pyramid okay this type of structure you need to create uh, using the c programming game. so when you are creating this type of structure first you need to give the information about how many rows you want see here if i'll execute same program execute run here if i'll give nine rows rows how many rows you want you will get nine rows pyramid you will get this is called as a pyramid so the important thing is how many rows you want and how many spaces you want how you want to display based on that you need to write the program okay so for this first here i will show you the programming code there is a uh, main your uh, preprocessor command okay next uh, the second one is here i am declaring a variables i j rows star equals to 0 and here uh, first uh, rows uh, for storing how many rows you want as i already said here nine you are giving no so here rows equals to nine okay and uh, i j for uh, incrementing the lines after the first line uh, control should go to the second line next third four five okay i for a rows j for a columns okay i for rows j for columns and a star here in the first line star is a one next in the second line three stars in the third line five stars in this next line seven stars so in order to increment the stars you are using a star variable okay you can use any variable these are all user identifiers 
but here just I am using I for a row, J for a column, rows for a number of rows and star for a incrementing stars. Now, see next you see the prompt printf enter the number of rows enter the number of rows how many rows here i have given you can your wish you can give any number of rows here i am giving a nine so whatever nine you are giving that is stored that is stored in just a minute so rows nine i have given that nine stored in a rows variable okay ampersand stored in a rows now ampersand rows means whatever value you give from the console this is called as a command prompt and it is also called as a console that 9 is stored in a rows ok because here I have given ampersand rows means we, I, uh, I am giving address of the variable where the value should be stored now here uh, after storing the value row number in a variable you see here first I am using i equals to 0 i less than rows i plus plus this is for only the incrementing the means this is for only the row first row ok now in the first row actually you can see the output <coughs> the first row spaces are there in the middle asterisk is there so total rows 9 9 means uh, uh, before the asterisk four places and after the asterisk four places empty space should be displayed for printing that empty spaces here I am using this for loop printing spaces now j equals to 0 j less than or equals to row minus i minus 1 rows means how much here example 5 minus i what is i value 0 9 9 mi 9 minus 0 9 minus 1 so total 8 spaces should be displayed in the means this is j value should be less than 8 this is 8 now j plus plus understood first j equals to 0 next j less than or equals to 8 j less than or equals to 8 means total 9 columns should be there ok 1 2 here you can see the output 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 so column should be less than or equals to 9 now print spaces ok print spaces after printing the space again here you see while star not equals to 2 asterisk i 2 into i 2 into i means how much 0 0 plus 1 1 so star not equals to 1 print asterisk so here basically star value is 0 next uh, here what I am doing I am comparing the 0 0 not equals to what is the value here 2 into i 0 plus 1 so 1 you will get so 0 not equals to 1 okay condition is true asterisk is printed next star plus plus now what is the star value 1 now you see 1 less than or equals to 1 condition false now we will go to the for loop this inner loop will go for column we need to increment the column like this ok now we need to increment the row first row is over next we need to increment the row second row second row now y value is 1 now j equals to 0 j less than or equals to uh, j less than or equals to how much you need to give rows means 5 here I already I have calculated right so 8 condition is true ok again space is, in, uh, space is printed so like this this process is continuous until uh, given condition is false ok here you can see the output the first row first row only one asterisk is printed in the second row three asterisks are printed ok so when the first row what we are checking is whatever spaces you are printing that should be less than 18 condition is true if the condition is true 
first space is printed again j is incremented okay again j value is 1 1 less than or equals to 8 one more space is printed okay so like a uh, total when uh, j value is equals to the 8 with a uh, space is printed when j value equals to the 9 that loop is failed okay now star is printed after this when this loop is failed then this one will be executed so for one out one outer loop inner loop is executed eight times okay so this is a, a pyramid of stars here whatever you will give that will be printed on the screen it may be a asterisk it may be a dash it may be a minus whatever it may be whatever symbol you will give that will be displayed only the thing you need to remember is here as long as uh, example here if this loop is not failed we won't come to this okay so first uh, for printing one asterisk in the first row this complete code for a uh, line number nine for a uh, only first row now in the sec that come to the twelfth line twelfth line for a uh, columns okay so in the twelfth line we are writing a code to print spaces okay to print spaces here when this loop is false then only we'll come to the next one so first j equals to 0 j less than 8 condition is true space is printed next j is incremented again incremented means j values 1 1 less than 8 condition is true next now j is incremented j less than 8 again space is printed okay next uh, this loop uh, for the first row this loop will be executed eight times so after printing eight times again it will check after printing eight spaces star not equals to zero what is the star value zero zero not equals to two into i what is i value zero zero plus one okay zero plus one here 2 into i 0 plus 1 so only 1 ok now your star value 0 it is not equals to 1 print a fast only 1 condition is true 1 is printed now star is incremented now star value is 1 1 le, uh, no, not equals to 1 condition false this loop will be terminated will come to the second one ok again now the second row i is incremented will come to the second row next in the second row again for the second row this loop will be executed seven the not seven times six times this loop will be executed see j equals to zero this is same j less than or equals to rows minus i what is i value one okay one minus one see rows minus i minus one rows minus i how much rows 9 9 minus i 1 i value is 1 so it is 8 8 minus 1 7 7 j plus 7 and here that many times this will be executed okay now after printing spaces again we will come to the stars here star value already 1 is there okay 1 equals to 2 2 into 1 okay 2 into 1 2 into uh, 2 ones are 2 plus 1 3 okay star not equals to 3 not equals to 3 asterisk is printed condition is true first asterisk is printed now star is incremented now st what is the star value 2 2 not equals to 2 into here this value is 3 only so 2 not equals to 3 condition is true again asterisk is printed second asterisk is printed next again star is incremented now star value is 3 3 not equals to 3 actually 3 equals to 3 condition is false ok so again auto loop is incremented so total is depends on the row number again now i value is 2 means we are in the third row 
third row again j equals to 0 j less than row minus i here what is i value 2 row minus i means how much rows 9 9 minus 2 7 7 minus 1 6 spaces will be displayed ok 6 spaces will be displayed here ok you can see here 6 spaces 3 6 spaces will be displayed total 9 no 6 spaces will be displayed now again so this process is continuous as long as condition is true so once the condition is false ok so the condition is false the loop will be terminated understood so when you are writing a program uh, for this is stars uh, pyramid of stars you need to think how many rows you want and how to display if it is the first row how many stars should be displayed if it is a column how many columns how many spaces should be given so that clearly you should give okay so this is about your uh, pyramid of stars okay we can display any symbol so with this uh, from our uh, practical question bank maximum questions we completed okay thank you